What's up guys? Classy Metal here. I figured I was well overdue for just an old-fashioned collection update. Uh, with the time constraints and, and, and craziness of life going on right now, uh, things like seven deadly spins that require me putting in that extra uh, preparation time and that extra just uh, just time consuming are, aren't really uh, feasible at the moment. Uh, I am enjoying being able to do the the standard uh, CD collection videos. Those are, are pretty easy. Um, it, it's it's lazy content, but it is content. And it's something that I can just pull off the shelf and roll with when I have a moment or two and, and get those videos out to you guys. Uh, some of this stuff I wanted to do in a Seven Deadly Spins video, but it's just, it has not uh, worked out that well. And it's beginning to pile up and I wanted to just knock out a, uh, just a standard collection video. So, cause there's some stuff here that I really wanted to share with you guys. Uh, I'm going to do my best to link everything in the description in the order that I show it. Uh, just because I love you guys, I will take that time and uh, put the effort in to to do that for you. Uh, I hope you find some stuff here that you like. As I said, some of this stuff uh, I wanted to do in Seven Deadly Spins, but it's just that has not been working out lately. I will uh, have a mixed bag here. There's a little bit of everything. It's a, it's a kind of all over the place, but I'm just gonna quit rambling. Got a lot of stuff to show you guys, and it is. Uh, Bear with me, it's like 6 o'clock in the morning. I've been getting up early to record this content before the, the business and the hustle and bustle starts in the in the house here. So uh, first up, this is one that I've really been wanting to show you guys. And I know uh, I know Thralls of Metal have shown it uh, amongst some others. Um, it is a killer, killer debut full length from New York Death Metal Project Tombstoner. Uh, this one is entitled Victims of Vile Torture. Uh, it, it's picking right up where the band left off with their their uh, debut EP, um, Descent into Madness. They've kind of expanded upon that EP, um, kind of taken the step forward. Sometimes bands kind of rest on something that was successful and, and don't elaborate on it. Uh, Tombstoner, man, this is a band that, I, that I've enjoyed since I, I first listened to that first track. And the, <clears throat> they're a killer uh, kind of thrashy death metal uh in this album they've leaned more to like a crossover thrash there is a definite almost hardcore vibe going on in some of the tracks uh you've got that uh, crossover death hybrid and it, each song has its own identity uh that's another very strong point of this album um it doesn't run on there's some like death thrashy albums that uh, it's kind of hard to differentiate one track from the other. Uh, each one of these has their own identity. You have some that uh, lean more to the crossover style, and then you have some that lean more to the straightforward death metal style. And that's something that I can appreciate. Uh, it, it keeps the album fresh. It keeps the album going smoothly. And uh, do not be surprised if you see this on my end of the year list because it, there is a uh, very, very strong chance that Tombstone is going to be on there, and I will probably elaborate uh, some more on the album and my thoughts on it um, at some point in the future as well. Killer stuff here from Tombstoner. I am, uh, I am very glad to have that one in the collection. Check that one out if you have not done so. Uh, next up, <clears throat> these are three releases that I've had in my collection for a little bit now. They've been sitting on the shelf waiting for me to show them. I purchased all of these from Life After Death. Um, as you know, I've kind of fallen in love with the Life After Death uh, label, Distro, and uh, these three came. Uh, the first one is a tape. I did a pre-order for this on Bandcamp through the Life After Death Bandcamp. Um, it is the In Perpetuum uh, demo EP. It's just three tracks from the band Grave Titan. Uh, Grave Titan are a death metal project that have a uh, themes of like Magic the Gathering and Lord of the Rings and that type stuff and they envelop it into this uh, almost old school death metal style and it, it, it really works. I, I was kind of blown away by this little uh, three, tra three track demo. I am definitely looking forward to hearing more uh, from Grave Titan in the future. It's on just this little clear uh, shell there. I'm not going to pull the, the J card out and show you guys, but I, I, w I was pretty stoked with this. I do enjoy it. 
Uh, I, as I said, I purchased this on Bandcamp, uh, pre-ordered it, so I have the digital. I've listened to the digital over and over and over um, while at work, but uh, killer release there. Check that one out if you have not done so. Uh, we have Writhing Shadows with their uh, 20... I think this was originally released in 2020. Uh, Life After Death gave it the physical treatment in 2021. Uh, this is Perverse Beast of War. Uh, this is one that... Uh, I had heard of this band, but I saw them on Crypt Fest uh, over on Ken's channel. And this was like the last project from Crypt Fest that I needed to order something from. Uh, just Killer Death Metal out of Alabama. Uh, I love the vocal approach uh, that Writhing Shadows has. It's just a two-person project, but the vocals in this are these kind of like shrieky death metal vocals. It's kind of hard to explain, but... I really dig the uh, the vocal delivery that's given to us from Writhing Shadow. So I'm uh, looking forward to hearing more from that band in the future. And then we have a one-man uh, death metal project out of Spain, I want to say. Uh, this is the 2021 demo uh, that this project put out. They also released a full length that hasn't been out just too terribly long either. This is Dangerous Mutation with uh, Ripped in Half killer stuff and then once you realize that it is a one person project one man project uh it makes it even more impressive to me that that one guy is able to pull off something like this and pull it off so so well uh more just i mean old school death metal is uh is alive and well and killer stuff there so as always life after death puts out just a a killer killer vast array of death metal all the time It's not all death metal, I promise. But speaking of death metal, we're going to keep on. Uh, this one just came in yesterday. Uh, this was from Corpse Gristle. So uh, already you know I'm not a huge fan of the, the digipack that it's in, but kind of the way of the world. Uh, this is the skinless um, gut pumping hits demos kind of series. Uh, this features the uh, Swollen Heaps demo from 1995. Uh, their 1994 AD demo and then they were on a compilation in 1997 entitled common ground and it has the uh i think six tracks from that compilation that that skinless uh contributed i, I love skinless so i had to get in on this um i i was one of the first hundred so they included a uh a skinless guitar pick I think that I think it was the first hundred orders, um, CD orders contain that. There's the inside. It's on this very flimsy, uh, kind of digi, but it is what it is. I'm just thankful to have the music. There is a uh, plastic kind of cover sleeve that I'm gonna put this in after the video to help protect that digi pack because it is very, very flimsy. But I can't be too mad because they also sent me a freebie. They did not have to do that. I am I am uh, super thankful for that, and it is a killer, killer release. Uh, this is Disencumbrance um, with their demo entitled uh, The Betrayal. I think this was originally released um, early 2000s, early to mid-2000s, and then it got the, the reissued treatment from uh, Corpse Gristle uh, not too terribly long ago, probably about five, six years ago now, so, I mean, it, it's been a while. But this is, man, I wasn't expecting too much out of this uh, being a freebie, but I was blown away by, by this release. It is a technical death metal done absolutely right. This is brutal technical stuff. I think this band is out of Texas. And man, man, oh man, uh, I uh, thank you, Quartz Gristle, for throwing this uh, this in there and and bringing that to my attention because that was a phenomenal release. It's probably one of the better freebies that I've heard in uh, quite some time. Uh, next up, this is a um, CD that I picked up off of eBay. I think I got this from like the Clutter Store or some generic eBay seller. Uh, I remember listening to this probably 20 years ago. Uh, I had a bit of a uh, nostalgia vibe and I saw it going cheap and I just went ahead and grabbed it and, and added it into my collection. Uh, this is uh, some Mellow Death. This is Dark Side with uh, Cogn 
Cognitive Dissonance. I believe this band's out of Sweden. Uh, it's kind of Sweden mellow death. There are some albums in this band's discography that are, I mean, I would classify as stinkers, but this is one that I really dig. I remembered enjoying this one quite a bit, and uh, once I added it back into my collection, I don't know if I ever even owned a copy of this. I may have just listened to streams and, 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 and downloads uh, back when I was listening to it, but I just remembered the artwork. I remembered I had a I had like a fondness for this uh, in my memories when I saw that artwork. So I, I just pulled the trigger, got it, and I'm glad I did. Uh, this is pretty killer stuff, released in 2001 on Season of Mist. So some good Swedish uh, mellow death there, old, old style. Uh, next up, this one might get some hate. We have some deathcore. Uh, I saw this on eBay for five bucks. I used to own a copy of this, and I sold it for uh, quite a bit more than five bucks at the time when I saw this going, so I went ahead and added it back into the collection. Uh, this is Slaughter to Prevail with uh, Misery Sermon. I believe this came out in 2017. Um, Russian deathcore. I know a lot of you have uh, kind of mixed feelings on Slaughter to, Pre Slaughter to Prevail. I, I like them for what they are. Um, they, I mean, they, they can be. Uh, I don't like using the word overrated, but I know they get a lot a lot of love uh, from people that have some questionable music tastes. I'll just leave it at that, but I like them, and, but I have questionable music tastes as well. So moving on, uh, next up, let's stick with the Russian theme. We have some atmospheric black metal, kind of post-black. Uh, funny thing, I've tried ordering a copy of this CD. I think this is like the third or fourth time that I've actually placed an order for this particular CD from different outlets. It wasn't all from the same seller or that type stuff. And I, I had given up on just getting a copy. I was frustrated. Stuff happened. I got, uh, I had to file a claim one time cause it was never shipped. I got shipped the wrong album one time and got refunded. It was just, it was a very frustrating experience. Kind of left a sour spot for me for this album, which is sad because I do really enjoy this album. Um, after all that rambling, I saw this on eBay. Apparently, a bulk seller has gotten a, their hands on uh, several copies of this, and it was going way cheaper than, than I had seen it go before. So I went ahead and grabbed it, and uh, it finally made it here. So all that being said, I think this was released in 2015 on Avant Garde uh, Records. Uh, I'm going to butcher this. It is, As I said, it is a Russian band. Um uh, Sivij Yar with uh, Burial Shrouds. I know a lot of you will recognize that artwork. I've, I've always called them Sivy Yar, but I'm sure I'm wrong. I mispronounce English words, so I know I'm going to mispronounce uh, Russian words as well. Um, atmospheric, very atmospheric. Uh, it goes into that post. It could almost, it teeters the line on uh, like... Uh, very generic post black metal, but it doesn't quite cross over. It's just enough that uh, it stays very enjoyable for me. Um, it doesn't go over the top, and, and that I can appreciate. I'm glad to finally have this copy in my collection. As I said, it, it, it's, it's been like a chore to get myself a copy of that burial shroud, so I am glad to have that now. Uh, a couple more eBay uh, purchases. These were from both from. Uh, these two particular releases I bought from the same seller. It's a seller that I found. I have some other stuff from them on the way as well. Apparently, they're unloading their collection, and there's some some pretty rare stuff that's been coming up um, fairly cheap. The first one is an album that uh, pretty close to when I had started getting on YouTube. Um, I don't see a date, 2016. So it, it was about a, maybe a year or so after I started YouTube. I remember Sean, uh, Count Blagreth, just uh, preaching the praises of this band, and I listened to it, and I liked it. I just never uh, went out of my way or pulled the trigger to to grab a copy of any of their material. I saw this going, revisited it, and it, it just kind of hit different this time, and it was something that I wanted to get my hands on. Uh, this is Hex Vessel with uh, When We We Are Death. When We Are Death. Uh, this came out in 2016, as I said, released on Century Media Records. Uh, very folky, um, it's kind of folk rock, almost progressive folk rock, uh, very original sound going on with this. Uh, it's not something that everyone is going to enjoy, 
Uh, my first listen uh, back then, I, I was kind of on the fence with it. Revisiting it now, um, I don't know if maybe my my tastes are a bit more cultured just from the simple fact of doing this channel because I have so much uh, stuff brought to my attention. I've had so much new stuff come into my life just simply by doing YouTube uh, because you guys are awesome and are constantly introducing me to new things and killing my bank, bank account. But uh, upon revisiting this, I, I kind of fell in love with this release and I've been listening to it quite a bit. So uh, killer stuff there from Hex Vessel. Imagine that. Uh, I do miss uh, Sean's channel. He, uh, he was a vast knowledge of, of heavy and extreme music and even like folky music like that. I, I do. At some point, I still have hope. I hold out that maybe uh, the Count Black Earth will uh, bless us with his presence again. But in the meantime, I can still remember um, him recommending that album. Uh, next up, we have some death, deathy thrash metal out of Florida. Uh, this is Solstice with their uh, sophomore. I believe this is their sophomore full length entitled Prey. Uh, this one is pretty good. It, it's not to me on the level of their uh, their self titled debut, but I mean it, it, it's right behind it in my opinion. I got this for eight bucks shipped. I could not I could not pass that up. As I said, this seller is uh, apparently just like parting out the collection and and. Uh, sending it out at a killer killer price uh, this is the one that was reissued in 2011 it has the original uh, album on here and then it has the remix that they did in 2011 i enjoy both i mean i, I am a sucker for the original i'm old and and i like old stuff but i can appreciate that remix on this as well they did it uh, they did it in, in a good style they didn't go over the top with it they didn't like ruin um, the original kind of like in flames did with that clay man uh, remaster remix whatever they did there they, they destroyed clay man and uh, I, I'm still salty about that so at least solstice uh, pulled off the remix on this fairly well uh, I, I, I do enjoy the original I will always be partial to the original but uh, next up these three are all from the same band <laughs> Funny story, I made an order on Bandcamp for uh, the one that I'll show first. They sent me the wrong CD. I sent them a message telling them that they sent me the wrong CD, and I offered to send it back. They told me to keep it. They sent me the CD that I ordered along with another CD as well, so it was kind of three CDs for the price of one. But we've got Were Goat. Uh, this is the one that I did order originally. This is their debut EP entitled Unholy Ex Exaltation of Full Moon Perversity. Uh, killer black and death metal. Uh, very raw production on this one. A bit it, You're going to get more raw production on this Were Goat release than you will any other uh, Were Goat material. Raunchy, perverted black and death metal. Uh, I, I enjoy this one. Killer stuff. Glad to have that in the collection. I believe they are out of Oregon, Portland, maybe. I know they're. I think they're in Oregon uh, somewhere. Uh, this is the one they sent me originally. I did already own a copy of this, but I have rehomed the uh, the the spare copy that I had, just so you guys know before anybody asks. Uh, this is <laughs> Pestilential Rites of Infernal Fornication. I was originally reintroduced to this album by Jax and uh, she hang on my dog is going crazy down there let me okay sorry about that and uh, I was originally where, where was I I was originally uh, reintroduced to where go through this album by uh, Jax B the Rippers channel and she was talking about this in a video uh, she was talking about how how this is a uh, there is some um, sex magic or something put on this that it's a horny ass video. I mean, a horny ass uh, album. I was like, well, if that's not a reason to go back and revisit an album. I don't think anything is. And and this like this is a uh, a boner inducing album. It is a uh, not something I would play around the kids, but it is it is good. I do enjoy it. It's. Uh, the production value on that is like leaps and bounds ahead of the raw production on this. It's it's a much more clear production on that full length, and uh, I mean it, it it's killer stuff. 
And then they also sent me the uh, the EP uh, Slave Bitch of the Black Ram Master. I have not spent a ton of time with this one yet. Uh, I have listened to it, but uh, I haven't spent enough time to just get too too into uh, into depth on it. It, it is very good. Uh, I enjoy everything that Where Goat has put out. I'm glad that uh, I kind of went back and revisited them uh, with that full length because I've, I've kind of grown to uh, re appreciate everything they put out. So, Jax, thank you for that recommendation. Uh, the two EPs were released, uh, reissued on Iron Bonehead Productions, and then the full length <clears throat> came out on uh, Vault of Bones Records. So, just in case uh, you wanted to know what those were released for. Uh, through. Uh, next up, the next three albums were purchases I made from Paragon Records. I love Paragon. I have another Paragon order uh, coming in. Hopefully it'll be in later this week. That will probably uh, be just a standalone video uh, just with what comes in from that. Uh, first up, I only bought three CDs from them this time. Uh, they were all five bucks each. So uh, First is, a, I think, an Italian um Atmospheric black metal. I think this band's out of Italy, if, if I remember correct, correctly. Uh, this is uh, Wolf, Wolf Hiri, Wolf Hiri with uh, the Devouring Fire of Mortality. This is, as I was saying, uh, atmospheric black metal. It has almost a uh, cavernous, brutal death metal vocal sound going on under the. Uh, I guess over the atmospheric black metal. You wouldn't think something like that would work, but after the farther that I got into the album, uh, the more it kind of worked and played off of the music. It, it became uh, quite enjoyable. If the first track, it was I was taken aback a little bit by the vocals. I almost uh, gave up on the release and, and moved on to listening to something else. And I'm glad that I, that I stuck with it because it, it really grew on me. And uh, I went on and just pulled the trigger and made the purchase. And I'm glad that I did because uh, that turned out to be quite an enjoyable release. Um, it was released on Wolfmon Productions. I think this came out last year as well. So uh, Next up, we have uh, some, I guess, uh, death metal out of... I, I think this band was... I don't remember where they're from. Uh, I think I wanted to say Austria, but at this point that doesn't sound right to me. Uh, this is Coffin Creep with uh, Corpse Defiler. This is their debut full length. Um, if you're into death metal about necrophilia, then uh, Coffin Creep might be right up your alley because that is what the majority of this stuff is about. Um, it's straightforward death metal about banging corpses. It's pretty good. I do enjoy it. They had a uh, EP or demo that came out a little bit before this that I wasn't a super big fan of, but uh, this full length uh, I did enjoy, so I'm glad to have that in the collection now. So that is Coffin Creep with uh, Corpse Defiler. This was released on Unearth Production. Uh, it hasn't been out just too terribly long, but it has been out for a little bit. And then we have some Pagan Folk Metal. Um, has some Blackened vibes going on in this. Uh, this is a band out of the Ukraine. I believe that originally um, they were located in Russia and they have uh, relocated to Ukraine uh, in that general area over there. Um, this came out in 2012 uh, on Firestorm Production. I thought it came out earlier than that, so it may have been uh, reissued by Firestorm Production in 2012. Uh, this is Helen Guard with their self-titled uh, full length. Very folky, very folk metal heavy, very, very folk metal heavy, uh, very pagan folk metal heavy uh, sound going on here. There are some blackened elements that go on uh, throughout. It almost hits like an atmospheric black at times, but the majority of this could be lumped uh, straight into folk, uh, straight up folk metal. I enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, they have some other material out as well. I may have to look into that, but this was the one that I remembered. The artwork looks a little bit different than what I, I remember it looking like in my head. That's another reason uh, I'm thinking this may be an, a reissue, but uh, it's some killer uh, folk metal. I have no idea what they're saying because a lot of times they're, uh, they're singing in Russian, but uh, killer stuff there. And then we've made it to the last two, two CDs. We're, this turned into a long video. 
I purchased both of these from Redstream. Um, the first one is a um, depressive, kind of atmospheric, uh, mainly depressive black metal project out of Oregon. Uh, Oregon's just been killing it on, on metal releases as a whole. I think this was originally released in 2015. Uh, this is a CDR. It was uh, released by the band, uh, like a self-release CDR. Um, I guess DIY uh, type. I think eventually it was uh, picked up by a label later on, maybe, and, and, a, and a, a proper release was done, but this is the DIY uh, version of it. This is Drowning Deeper with No Light Ahead. This came in a little paper sleeve. I put it in a jewel case, and then I busted the jewel case that it's in, so I'm still going to have to change uh, change it out again. But uh, I really do enjoy this. I, I You could have fooled me, and although this is out of Portland or out of Oregon, I think it's out of Portland. I know it's out of Oregon. Uh, although it's out of Oregon, you could have fooled me and told me that this was out of Russia, and I would have completely, uh, I would I would have never second guessed it it has like the little synth things going that uh that that uh, the russian black metal atmospheric black metal seems to have uh down pat this one is leans way more uh depressive though and i dig it as you can see it's just the the cdr there uh there's the inside of the case or the inside of the insert it was in this little i don't even know what i did with the sleeve i thought it was still laying up here uh it wasn't quite a paper sleeve it was like a plastic poly sleeve or something but i swapped it over i'd rather have it in the jewel case and then last but not least we have some funeral doom uh this is mistress of the dead with i know her face from the tombstone uh this is a demo that came out in two, that 2004 maybe uh, that sounds right in my head i love mistress of the dead i've been wanting i've been slowly uh adding their stuff into the collection this is one that i definitely wanted to be in there although it's a demo it is four tracks it is over an hour long it's uh like an hour and five hour and six minutes in uh its entirety it's one of my favorite releases that this band has put out uh i've, I've been in a almost depressive atmospheric black metal mood along with uh some very doomy uh, like funeral doom moods as far as my music taste lately that those have been the things that I've, I've been leaning to a bit more especially when I'm home and I have time to just relax um, and kick back and I have a little bit of time to just myself that's kind of where I've been leaning I don't know if it's just a relaxation thing or what but I, I saw this on red stream I, I was just like it was almost like an auto buy I wanted it uh I was like, man, yeah, that, that would sound great on the new stereo, and it does, and I'm glad to have it in the collection. Uh, thank you, the guys, that, any, all of you that stuck with me for this 30-minute video. I do appreciate it. I'm sorry that I've kind of slacked up on the uh, seven deadly spins and that type stuff. It's not gone forever. Uh, that, that will be back. I think a lot of this uh, time constraints, money constraints, everything is just is, is very, very temporary, and it, things will... Uh, get back on track i mean I, the the content's still coming i am thankful that i have the cd collection videos going though because that is easy content that i can get out for you guys and it is something that i enjoy doing because i enjoy showing off the cds that uh that i that i love i hopefully you guys i know some of you have found some stuff just from me showing my cd collection so that's all i've got for today uh, my Instagram and my Facebook are also uh, linked up in the description. Uh, if you want to, you can go follow those. I am going to take the time today. I think I will have a little bit of spare time to go down and, and link up everything that I showed in this video. So that's all I've got. Stay classy, stay metal, and I will see you guys very soon. I promise.